Okay, bye, Ellie. Bye, Ellie. I'll see you later, okay? with me it's only 10 40 and I've already taken a nap for the day my son's gone to church camp my daughter is working I'm driving but I'm still looking at the road so don't freak out I've had people come at me in the comments filming while I'm driving but anyway um, I'm gonna go to a Salvation Army Council Bless for a little bit before I pick her up for her break and then I think I'm gonna go to a thrift world after lunch um, I don't know this Salvation Army is okay it's kind of small so we'll see what we find but hopefully I can find some good stuff you guys come with me and see what I picked up I have a nice tan line here still for my sunglasses I've been trying not to wear my sunglasses outside as much but I can't help it anyway let's see what we find <music> these green shoes and I thought they possibly might be something so I did put them in my cart to take a look at but you'll see in a little bit I think I did a screen recording of them and they actually weren't worth much I think a few sold for around 25 or so Same with these ones, it was a brand I've never heard of. They had a European sizing, so I thought they might be something. I put these in my cart also, but again, not worth anything, although they are kind of a cool style. both of those shoes just on Poshmark. I guess I could have checked eBay to see if they were a little better. Like I said, this brand, the tennis, they were literally for tennis, I think. It was like okay, but it wasn't really worth it for me to pick it up and they didn't seem like comps were super great. And then I looked up the other shoes next, which I couldn't even find the brand of the other ones. <laughs>
did end up picking up a few good pairs of shoes here. I don't know if I caught them all on camera. These are Cole Haan, which I don't super get anymore. Hardly ever. They just don't sell that well for me. JBU or Jambu and duck boots always do good for me so I did get these. I know this is the more expensive Dolce Vita, but I just have a really hard time selling it. I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it this time. found these um they're the brand birdies which i've never found before the comps look pretty good at least 50 dollars, i think possibly more depending on style so that's exciting so this smart wool has been here for months so for one thing they are not pulling their things that don't sell after the color sale tag goes up but it had holes i know smart wool can sell with holes but this had multiple holes runs on the front on the back I don't know, I just didn't want to get it. What would you guys have done?
this Reels is really cute. It's short sleeve. Reels doesn't do as good for me as it used to, but I did get that because it was pretty cheap. I had to show quick this super old Athleta tag. I've never seen anything like that. And look, it's on there too. I thought that was funny. I didn't know what these jeans were at first, but it didn't end up having the name of them on the button. And then I also found it on the patch on the back, Proenza Schooler, is that how you say it? So great find there. I don't usually find a cart full ever, but those birdies, that is really exciting to me because I've never found that brand before. So I'm excited to look up comps for that style and see what they're gonna go for. I've got a little bit of time left until my daughter gets off of her break. She took a later break. So we have like three weeks left and then she can drive herself and get a car when she turns 16. So for now I'm like, oh. but if I have time and I'm free, I pick her up on her break because we live like one minute away from where she works. So. That's nice for her to be able to come home. So I'm gonna go into Walmart to waste some time until I have to go get her. I'm actually doing shop kicks. If you've never heard of that, I'll put up a little clip of kind of what I do because I've earned $950 in Disney gift cards in about a year and a half with this. Um, and yeah, it's amazing. So <laughs> it's a nice little thing to make some money on the side. There's all kinds of gift cards in different places you can get stuff from. So yeah, I'll insert a clip after this and kind of try to explain how I do that. Like if anybody else is interested. Okay, so it is an app. You have the little left button on the bottom that's location and it'll show you what stores are near you that have available kicks is what they call them or scans. And that's how you get points to earn money for things. So you can get points or kicks by just scanning items throughout the store. You get more kicks if you purchase the item. So I just purchase items that I would normally use anyway and that is a way that I can kind of earn more or earn them quickly. So once you're in the store you can click into there and as you can see if you bundle things together you get even more kicks, more points and it's organized by category in every store. Um, some stores have more scans than others. Walmart is usually pretty good for me and has a good amount so kind of just organized by category here and basically you just walk around the store and you just scan stuff. After you do it for a while, like I go to the stores at least a couple times a week, like this stuff will be up here multiple times. Once it's grayed out over on the left, that means you've already reached your scan limit and you can't keep scanning them at the store and then new stuff pops up all the time. So this is my reward. So here you see I just earned a Disney gift card, $25. You can pick if you want 25 or 50. Um, for some reason this time it's not <clears throat> giving me the gift card, but I go back through and it works but you can choose whatever you want. I'll show here in a little bit the different choices. This is just what I do, and I've been doing this since January of 2020. And yeah, like I said, I have earned $950, which I'm gonna go towards my girls' trip coming up in November, so that's super exciting. So now that's in my rewards, and what I can do is go in there, and I can put in the little code, and I can add it to my Disney gift card that I already have at home, the physical one. Now here's all the different rewards that you can get so
Okay, so I'm at the next thrift store, but I'm just gonna do like a little car haul of what I got at the other one before I go in this one because I don't really wanna go home and film. I really need to get like a hands-free thing like for my dash because it would be way easier, but I'll see if I can get this. Some of the stuff you saw earlier, but some stuff I didn't show. So these are Lane Bryant pants. They're 14, 16, but they are a linen blend, which is why I got them. They were 3.99. Otherwise, like I don't sell Lane Bryant that much because it just sucks. Oh my gosh, my camera works horrible. Let's see if I can hold this still. Okay, you saw this rails top, I think, right? And that's a size extra small, it's short sleeve. This was the pure cashmere sweater. This is a size, wow, 1416. I was looking at the clothes and not my camera. Um, I got two pair of Eileen Fisher pants. These are both size small. So I'm gonna lot these together. They're both just like a stretchy, like pull on basic pants. Um, these were Gap, which I like never get, but they are extra, extra large and they're the Sculpt Revolution and they're camo. They're in really nice condition. So I did get those. And then I got this Victoria's Secret Pink Ultimate Joggers. These are size extra small and they're just like gray with this spell out and stripe all the way down the side. So that's one bag. Um, how should I do this? I have stuff on my lap. Okay, you saw these prones of schoolers. How do you say that? Jeans? Oh, here, it's right in here. So, these, I don't know what size they are. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Oh, wait, here it is. They're a size 30. So, I have no idea how those will do, but I know it's a good brand to pick up. I did get that Disney skater shirt. It's actually a kid's 14, 16, but it could be like a women's small or extra small so I don't know how I'm gonna list it but that's vintage and it's amazing and I got this cat shirt because it's so funny even though it's just like a cold brand or something it's like actually like sweatband material so I had to get that this is a dress I got that I'm gonna send in to thread up it's Bill Lovecoff $210 retail I paid seven for it so I'm gonna try that on thread up and then let me go through the shoes that I got but I think I'm gonna like stop the video and come back because i have a bunch of clothes in my lap okay shoes i don't think i showed all of them maybe i did i don't know okay so these are my favorites these are the birdies i've heard other resellers talk about them but i've never found them um it looks like they're a size seven and they're really good condition so that's exciting i think you saw these keens too these are a size 10 i think women's I don't know, but look in the bottom, it says Hush Puppies. What's up with that? Oh no, is this like a Keens insert? Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. These are Hush Puppy shoes with a Keen insole. Okay, I'm stupid. Well, hopefully that'll still sell. Wow, real life here, guys. Okay, <laughs> I got these Frank and Oak boots. I did look up comps for these and they looked pretty good. These are leather boots and these are size US 6, made in Portugal. I usually use like Gugon to get rid of that price. I got these JBU um, like duck boots, the st style of boots, like any kind of duck boots do really good. But, um, and that brand too always has like the style name right inside there, Nala. So I'll really be able to look up, I'll really be able to look up comps and figure out what they go for and then the last pair of boots i did get these lucky brand boots which i've been really selective with lately there was actually some other ones there that i passed on because i am not selling them like at all anymore but this is a little bit of a different style so i thought i would try it and they're a size nine looks like they're called the darby leather so fall's coming up i'm definitely shopping for fall let me know like are you guys shopping for fall yet i feel like after the fourth of july people are already thinking that makes me so mad. People are already thinking fall and back to school and all of that. So anyway, okay, this is where I'm going. I'm going into this thrift world. It's on 29th at St. Mary. If you are local Omaha people, it's really big. They've got a great vintage section. So let's see what I can find in here. <music> Thank you. 
These are a pair of Lucky Brand ballet flats. Honestly, these don't do that great for me. Hardly any Lucky Brand shoes do except for Select, so I left them behind. I saw that Fry logo, so I'm for sure picking up these cute sandals. up Converse sometimes, but these were just a little too worn and dirty for my liking, so I left them behind. These looked interesting. I've never heard of them before. I thought I would look them up. I did look them up, and they were worth nothing. I don't even think I could hardly find the brand. most every torrid piece that I see if it's in good condition. Don't worry, if I do knock clothes off the hangers, I do go back and put them back on after I am done recording. Johnny was. I was so excited to find this. Plus, it was plus size. Too much pluses? It's really pretty. Another torrid piece at a great price, so I put this in my cart.
people top extra small just a basic thermal but these sell for me really well it's oversized cute so i did get it is definitely newer Asleta, really cute ribbed top, so I did get that. always hope to find a Lululemon dot, but this wasn't it. Freaking poof. these pants were quality by the feeling so I did turn them around and sure enough the Lululemon logo was right there
okay here i am going through what i ended up picking up i'm just doing a haul in the store these are free people pink corduroy pants i did get them because they're size 30 and they had a raw hem i found some new with tags athleta pants i paid 15 dollars, but that is the newest label size 6 really cute cargo stripe pants these next ones are Pilker and the Letterpress, which I actually don't get that much anymore, but these were a linen blend, and so I decided to get those because linen is selling really well for me right now in the summer. And then these next ones, actually I think these might be, oh, those are those Lululemon pants, I think, that I showed just a little bit ago, finding on the rack. This is a really cute Bowden top, size 10. It has tassels, um, a nice wide sleeve with scalloped hem, so... I wanted to get that. This next one is Soft Surroundings. I think it's a size medium. Here we go. Horrible camera work. Nope, that's a large. Um, just a really cute tunic top. Soft Surroundings does really well consistently for me with the right styles. This was a black top I found. Oh, yeah, Free People. I thought it was something else. It's a size large. It's one of those um, cuffed thermals that were super popular back in the day. They still do well, just not as good as they used to, but if I price it right, I'll be able to sell it quickly. There's that Athleta ribbed long sleeve top that's a size small, gray, with black on the bottom. This was, I think, the Wilfred Free top. Um, size small. It's a basic black. It really needs a lint roll, but I think it'll still sell for $20, $25. Here's another Soft Surroundings. I've actually sold this tunic before. This one, I think, is the size medium. Yep, there we go. It's like a chambray long sleeve. I don't know why I'm zooming in like that. What's happening? Oh my gosh. Who knows what I'm doing? Okay, this is Anthropology, a Kimmy and Kin. Um, oh, I didn't show the size for that. I don't know. But it's a really cute, like, thermal, like, loose, kind of faux wrap top. Whoa. Okay, I think I did that because somebody was coming. That brand, Desigual, is that how you say that? It does really well for me on ThreadUp. I've sold a couple pieces for pretty expensive, so I'm going to send that in to ThreadUp. What am I doing? Oh my gosh, these are Adidas shorts. These are for my nephew. Sorry, I'm like, I don't do very many thrift with me's, and obviously I kind of suck at it. <laughs> but um, the one time I did have to go to a different aisle because some lady was coming down there. Okay, this is Victoria's Secret, Victoria Sport small full length cheetah leggings those will do good and i'm pretty sure they will sell really quickly these are a pair of nike joggers and yeah, i think they're a size small they got this really cool detail down the side i don't know if they're men's or women's so i'll have to look up the style code but i really liked those so i wanted to get those these are athleta leggings small tall which is always good they've got the cute stripe down the side full length as a tall person myself i really appreciate those longer lengths and longer styles. This is another Athleta new with tag, or not new with tags, a wide leg newer tag, size six, possibly the same owner as the other one. Really cool pants. I'll look up comps for those and see what they are going for. There's that Free People top, like I said, oversized thermals from Free People. I can sell for $20, $25. This is that really pretty Torrid. It's a size one slash two X. It's kind of like an open sheer kimono. And there's that Johnny was again. I was so excited about that. I'm really excited to look up comps and the size is great. So definitely my favorite find. This is a pair of Levi's 7-Eleven Skinny. Those will sell for me around $20 or $25. So definitely wanted to pick those up. They were on a new rack. These also were on a new rack. They were Fabletics Motion 365. Not sure of the size because the rip tag was out, but looks like to be a small I think they're full length. Um, these are Under Armour joggers, I believe. Yes, size medium, loose. I think they're women's, but I don't know for sure. So again, they'll have a style tag in there. I can look those up. Joggers sell really well for me. That style. Um, these are a pair of Flying Monkey. I don't know of the size. I'll have to see, which I don't get a ton. But these look to be a high-rise, skinny, distressed jeans. So I did get those because I thought they were really cute. Sorry if you're hearing my phone go off in the background. Uh, can can is great these are really cute they're like a paper bag waist style like vintage looking distressed knees loose fit super cute i'll be able to find the style name really easy for those this is universal standard 2xl which is a great brand and i like to sell it so i don't know maybe that'll go for 25 or so and this is a nike shirt this was also in the plus size section so i found some really great plus size today it's a size 3x 
and actually where all those perforated holes if you can see it spells out nike air so i thought that was really cool um this is another plus size that's that torrid kind of just sleeveless little vest again a size one two i think that's what that other one was sized at here's another pair of can can jeans these brand especially with the distressed style sells really well and these are just a great style so super excited to pick those up not sure of the size oh look at this cute little dog he was riding with this guy on the motorcycle in the old market okay so that's it that store was really good i kind of thought it would be if i don't go there for a while and then if i can stay a long time i usually find some pretty good stuff it's pretty big so i'm heading to pick up my daughter from work if you did stick around through the entire video thank you i don't know actually how long it's going to be i actually don't think it's going to be that long i tried to get a lot of clips in the store but i don't know sometimes it's really hard especially with those double racks so again um thank you for watching please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video subscribe if you haven't i will have a flipping friday video out friday at some point bye guys